So Rick, how many people does it take to make a Super Bowl commercial? Four. Four. Is that how many licks it takes to get to the center of Tootsie Roll Pop? That's exactly <laughs> the same number of licks it takes to the center of Tootsie Roll Pop. That's actually a very funny analogy. It takes as many people. Because everybody's different, right? Every production is different. So uh, there's not an answer. It can, it, it can be 15, it can be 200. Uh, you know, people ask me, how much does a video cost? And I always think that's a crazy question, but they don't know it's a crazy question because they don't know the answer. Well, which people is why ask the same asking. thing about web design or copywriting, right. and you know, like, well, we need more information. <laughs> right? Is it a three-day shoot? Is it a ten-day shoot? Does it require special equipment? Does it require locations? Does it require? These are all things that go into it. You know, you don't just ask the builder how much does the kitchen cost. Right. You know, if, it, if they give you an answer, it's like, well, what if I want this floor? What if I want this kind of cabinet? What if I want this kind of countertop? I need this kind of appliances. It all changes. So video is the same way. The what it takes is what it takes. Uh, but. Typically on a Super Bowl spot, which is like most other big national brand spots, it requires a full crew. And you know, a lot of times you're shooting in LA, you're shooting on location for that location uh, specifically. And it can be the people in front of the camera can be one person, but there may be 30 people behind the camera. And they've all got something to do because they've all specialized. They all know what they're doing. Right, it's a very highly specialized crew. So what are some of the roles you've held on Super Bowl shoots? So I have uh, I have uh, been a set dresser on Super Bowls, on one or two spots. I was a prop master on a whole bunch, and I was an art director on quite a few. So that's kind of moving up the ranks, sort of within the art department. But what that means is the prop master, he's the guy in the hot seat. You deal with all the product, all the physical effects that are there, wind, snow, rain, fog, smoke, all that stuff. And you deal with everything the actors touch and the product and the product the product 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 so when you got to make that Pepsi glass look perfect that's the prop guy who does that because you got your little whole arsenal of spritzers sprays fake ice cubes <laughs> you know um, I can't remember the silicon that we use but you had water to it and you literally with the tweezers you put each little piece of broken ice on the outside of the glass so that it hits the light just right and shimmers I mean you're talking microscopic size but these are the things that you're paying the pros to do so how many people does it take it takes a prop guy, and usually on a shot like that, I've got two assistants. If you're shooting us in here, we don't have a whole crew behind us. No. This is really pretty simple. So how many people does it take? It really varies. It depends on what your goals are. Depends on your goals, depends on your budget, depends on, depends on the complexity of the shots you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. You know, we're all familiar with the Dollar Shave Club, and that was done with a very minimal crew. Uh, but they had a warehouse that was given to them. They had somebody who had already directed, somebody who had already shot commercials. They had a talented crew, not just any crew. And they were able to make it work. And they were able to plan it out based on all these factors. So that was a very clever way. And why? Why are we all know the Dollar Shave Club? <laughs> you don't know the Dollar Shave Club commercial? The very first one? Oh my gosh. And I think it was a Super Bowl spot. But it, it put them on the map. They, oh. The guy comes out and he smashes through the walls and he's in the cart and he does all this funny stuff. They look Dollar Shave Club up on YouTube. It's a really funny spot. It's well done. But that was done with a minimal crew. Okay. But the Budweiser spots are not. Right. The Taco Bell spots are not. You know, they're done. They're done with large crews to get the results that, that, that you need to get. You know, when you're doing smoke or, or, or fog or dust, because they're three different things, in a barn, you need to have all that stuff. And you need to have people that know how to use that stuff to get the right effect, because smoke is not smoke. There's different types of smoke, there's different densities of smoke. You control the wind, you have a fan to control the wind. You, you have to deal with mother nature, you have to deal with the timing of things. There's all this little, the little nuances. Mm. And a bigger crew knows how to do that. The smaller crews, while they may know how to do that, they don't have the time or the budget to do that. That makes sense. Okay. So, how big is your crew need to be? Well, depends on your complexity of your of your of your video. Yeah. So, bigger isn't always better, but bigger works. Well.